Hello, and welcome to the Fruit Review, the only review that fruits rue. Today, seeing as the winter equinox is upon us, I figured we would take a moment to think of better times, warmer times, because I think most people hate the cold, even if they say that they don't like heat, they're lying to themselves. I'd much rather be too hot than too warm. And so today, we're going to cool down with a delightful summertime treat that I'm sure is fond to all of you watching. Um, today we have the mighty, or in my case, the mini, watermelon. These bitches are delightful, they're green, they're full of red, um, very juicy, very watery, as the name would suggest. Uh, they got their start in, like, North Africa, Libya, Egypt, um, and started making their way to the Middle East, like, I Iraq. Um, and then about, like, 700 CE, we're looking at, uh, the Indians got their hands on them, and then the Chinese got them, like, 300 years later, and then by, uh, 1700s, the whole world was slurping these things down faster than they could think. Um, I guess we'll just get into it. Um, I'm gonna try and break into this just using my hands, uh, kind of, the method I'm using... It's kind of like pressing into one spot. It's like a, when the mountain just fucking smashes that dude. He goes like... Whoosh. Damn, it's kind of... It's kind of... It's kind of tough. The last one. Yeah, this is a rare occurrence, actually. Um, every other one of my videos that you loyal supporters have graciously watched over and over again, I bet, um, has been a single take. But this watermelon has been flipping me over, um, like, fuck, this one's really giving me the business, um, <sighs> holy shit, I'm gonna give it, like, one of those, you see, like, those, like, big titty goth girls who, like, crush melons between their legs, maybe I can, like, whittle it down a little bit, <sighs> fuck, wow, this one's really, <laughs> Working for it. This is like great comedy for you guys, seeing my spindly twink arms. <sighs> Try to like overpower a melon. Um, one good thing, I'll, I'll give you guys a little insight. This, uh, this bitch, you see how it's all like dirty on the bottom? That's because it had more time to sit on the ground before it was harvested, which means it'll be a tastier melon. Holy fuck, okay. We're just gonna keep working at this and I'm gonna add the. Oh, <laughs> I broke through. Oh, I gotta, I just gotta get a good seam on it. It's starting to juice on me. <laughs> well... <laughs> At least I have a very fuckable hole right there for it. Um, it's a good segue. Uh, I, uh, today's undeniably drink of the week. I'm going to want you guys... Hey, wait till summer for this one. Hey, we get the get-together. Get one of those big fuckers, like those three-pound ones. <laughs> ones that, like, uh, are they more than that? Maybe they're more than that. I don't know. Maybe they're, like, 12 pounds. But the big ones, you know. And I want you to cut a hole in it, take an immersion blender, and just, like, stick it in there, stew it up, and then what you're going to do, you're going to get your bottle of Svedka, your Grey Goose, something along those lines. I just want you to uncork it, slap it in there, and let it guzzle in. If you really want to bouge it up, you're going to want to put a... Uh, uh, this looks fucking terrible. <laughs> this is what I get for eating watermelon and... December. Um, yeah, that smells fine. Here we go. We got the watermelon. Nice and juicy. Ripped it clean in half, as you can see. I'm just going to set one of those to the side. Get my hair out of the way. Um, I guess we'll just we'll go for it. I think... Yeah, it seems fine. I've been sleeping with this watermelon. It's been in my bed for about, like, four days now. So, happy that we finally get to consummate it. Not bad. You know, I mean, it's watermelon. Who hasn't had a fucking watermelon? 
Mm. Mm -mm. It's tasty. It's like, you know, and additionally, this is what I get for having watermelon in December in Colorado. Not a very melon-conducive soil here. But, uh, mm, a tasty one. It's entirely good enough. I like watermelons because they're generally not, like, crazy sweet. It's just kind of like a nice little juicy treat. Um, oh, that was all around. Mm. Yeah, it's just like, it's it's good. It's a watermelon. It's a good nice little... Yeah, for all you ASMR bitches out there. Mm. But I can get a good, like, squeeze and trip. Is that it? Yeah. Mm. Watery and melony. Um, yeah. This one's a little tougher than uh, the last one. It's the third take of this. I had a lot of technical setbacks. But, uh... Just gonna get in there for a second. I'm gonna go hog wild. <sighs> Trying to break it off a little bit. You know, slicing watermelons generally preferred than just just like raw dog at primal style. But um, that works too. I think the least efficient way to eat a watermelon, I'll add. Um. There's no good way to do this. All right. <sighs> Can't keep ripping them off. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a watermelon. It's, it's just like, it's just, uh, it's just water and melon. These bitches are like more than 99% water. Um, I reckon that if you ate like, six to ten depending on your weight class watermelons like full-size ones you would you would die and not because like of any like specific enzyme just because of the pure water content it would like rupture all the cells in your body because they would have too many fluids wretched way to go some some chick died trying to win a wee that way This is a terrible watermelon. I gotta be real with you guys. Um, it's uh, very tough. Very tough. Um, but for you rind finds out there, that's gone. I'll give the rind a little bit of a try. Never had a watermelon rind before. You know, you generally steer clear. But, um, shit. Can't you? It's like buttery grass. I uh, never want to try that again. But, you know, that's what I'm here for. To give you guys the content you deserve. To be there for you. Anyways, I still got like half a watermelon. Um, there's like some parts of this. Like I'll try and show you. Like over here. It's like, kind of, it's like a little redder, but then over here it's like a little whiter, and it's just like, the white parts are a little tough. I will say, this watermelon has a very peculiar shape. You see how it like, it kind of goes out and then coils, out and coils, out and coils, out and coils. Well, it's very similar to what, like, old watermelons used to look like back when they were just being cultivated for their water content. Not so much their delicious summertime appeal. Like, you'll see here, we have, like, the original watermelon. Doesn't that just look so appetizing? Um, over here is what I think a watermelon might look like in the future. If we're lucky. <sighs> I mean, like, I'll just, like, I'll give it one more for the for the fans. Mm. Ah. 
I guess that's it. This is a short one, I think. But, you know, I'm glad to be back here. Next week, we're doing persimmons, if I can find any, in Colorado in December. Good luck, and good night.